is our new 2500 gallon Rotoplast tri-layer rainwater tank. It's got the 22 inch manhole. Brand new. Bought it from a guy in South Carolina who does this. I think it's uh, North American rainwater solutions or systems rather. Let's see if we can't push this thing closer to where I need to get it. This is about where it's going to go right here. I'm going to uh, dig a two foot hole, put a two foot in the ground, run my plumbing up over here. I've got a, a building I've got to move over here. This is the building I got to get. See, it's got all my plumbing. I got to put this building right about over there somewhere. You can see my electric service. I don't want to get too close to that, but I want to be able to pull off of it.
So as you can see, I didn't get a uh, video of this yesterday because my camera died, but I got the cistern in the ground um, ready to go. So today we're going to be digging ditches and moving that building I was talking about. Um, so it should be a good day. Hopefully I'll get to cut some of my driveway into a little bit bigger. It's already cut, but it needs to be widened. And I want to build a little parking area for us so we can turn around a lot easier. I've got this half inch PEX pipe. I tried doing something with the wire, ignore that. Um, but I basically threaded it through the three inch hole that I bored for this fitting right here. This is what comes with the tank. You just, it's got a two inch uh, male PVC fitting. Uh, you screw a two inch male PVC fitting into that, sorry. But anyways, I'm gonna fish that down through there with the nut on the outside. Okay, so you got a nut, a washer, a bushing, another washer, and you slide that bushing down with the threaded part out. I'm gonna slide it down that red PEX pipe. I'll show you the setup I got here. Hopefully it won't be too crazy. Let's see, I got it ran down through and there's my three inch hole. So we'll try this out. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I've got it threaded on there. I'm gonna try to pull it through with my finger now. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'm 
take that all the way out just yet, just in case I drop it. Looks like it's going to drop right there. Let's see. This is reverse thread. Slide that gasket on there. There it is. All right, so we've got all the plumbing, underground plumbing at least, put together. As far as, as, far as I'm gonna go with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start backfilling. You can see what I've got here is a valve, a T-joint. That's gonna come back um, over there for a clean out, so I'll be able to close that valve and close the valve up here at the pump and clean that line out if I want to, should I ever need to. Um, but then more importantly, I'll be able to leave that valve open, leave this valve right here open, and then uh, close that valve at the pump and, and drain the tank. So sort of two in one right there. Uh, I've got four inch line stubbed up. I don't have my gutters on, so when I get that taken care of, I'll have the stub there and I'll be buried, ready to go. So what we have, what we have here is the 90 for the 40, or four inch pipe rather. It's gonna come up and I'm gonna connect it to the house, connect the gutters, tee them in. Down there you can see my hot and cold pecs, ready to go, stubbed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bury that. And on to the next phase.